you are looking at some of the most distinctive pipework in the largest pipe organ in the world. We are inside the pipe chambers of the Midmer Losh organ at Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City. Hi everybody, this is Nathan Bryson. He's the curator, head of the crew that's restoring this great organ. I'm Ken Double, I'm the director of fundraising, and we're here with kind of another couple of minutes with the Midmer Losh. And what's so great about this is these are the pipes that give everybody the goosebumps that make the building shake. What are we standing next to? We are standing between two of the very large 32-foot pipes. Uh, we have the 32-foot bombard here and the 32-foot open wood. These are literally the pipes that shake the building, shake the foundation that people feel all throughout. The numbers mean exactly what? 8, 16, 32, 4, 2, and 2 thirds, 2. We measure the pipes in feet and the lowest pipe on the keyboard or the pedal board is what we reference that pitch. So low C on the pedal board of this particular stop, both of these, is indeed 32 feet in length. And of course the length of the pipe determines the pitch, so the longer the pipe, the lower the pitch, the shorter the pipe, the higher the pitch. Many of you who visit the website on a regular basis maybe know about pipe organs or certainly know a lot about pipe organs and I'm sure that there are some of you visiting perhaps for the first time don't really understand why when you hear a great pipe organ played well, it literally gives you goosebumps. Um, hearing a pipe organ is a sound that is really uh, impossible to uh, describe unless you felt it in person because there's actually wind moving through these pipes. Uh, nothing in this organ is acoustically, or, or amplified rather, it is all acoustically created. There is actually air moving through each of these pipes when these pipes are played. And when it's a 32-foot wood diaphone, that's a lot of air. That is a lot of air. What kind of a blower is supplying wind to this set of pipe board? There are seven blowers for this organ. They're located about four floors below where we're standing right now in the basement level. Uh, we have more than 600 horsepower worth of blowers. That's a lot of cubic feet per minute. And that's why it takes the biggest pipe organ ever built to fill this magnificent space, Boardwalk Hall, with thunderous great music. This is an absolutely massive room, five and a half million cubic feet of volume. It originally could hold more than 40,000 people. In its current configuration, our maximum capacity is about 14,000 people. So it's an absolutely enormous room, and it needs an enormous pipe organ to fill that room. We are, if you're looking at the stage, in a chamber above the console on the right side, you can probably hear in the background their tuning pipe work on the left side, which makes this a wonderful time to be doing this little exercise. And maybe the most important, exciting, big news news is that they are preparing to take an audio snapshot of where they are currently in the restoration. What's in the works, Nathan? We are. We're working on a recording now uh, to record both pipe organs, the Denver Lodge and the Kimball pipe organs. Uh, we have stopped work uh, right now on the choir division. We'll pick it up soon. Uh, but we stopped so that we could uh, make sure that everything that's playing now is in tip-top shape. Uh, we've been through all of these chests to try to eliminate all the dead notes, get everything in perfect tune so that the recording sounds really amazing. The important thing to remember about this recording is that it's not a perfect instrument yet. Only half of it's playing, about 53% of the organ is playing. Uh, but it's just a remarkable feat that it's even playing at all. But we have had so many requests, when, 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 and so I think the interesting decision is, let's do something now, and then let's get a little more going, and we'll do something then, and create this pathway to perfection, so to speak, for a grand recording at some date in the future when the entire instrument's ready to go. Exactly. That was a, a topic of much debate whether to do a recording now when the organ is, is not fully restored and not absolutely perfect, or to try and wait 10 years until it is fully restored. But we decided we wanted to go ahead and do the recording now, uh, let people hear what the organ is now, and then in another 10 years when we have several more recordings, they have something to look back and we can see how far we've come. And it is an unbelievable project that we hope is worthy of your interest and even more than that, worthy of your support. As we are in the fourth quarter of the year, Giving Tuesday is a big, big date in early December this year. It's the fourth quarter, which means a lot of people are thinking about donations. This is a 501c3 nonprofit organization, is the Historic Organ Restoration Committee. And even though the tax laws have changed, 
it is worthy of support. It is the world's largest musical instrument, and it needs and deserves to be heard in its entirety. It does indeed, and every dollar counts. Absolutely. To make more of these types of things, make thunderous music at Boardwalk Hall. We thank you for spending a few minutes with us. If you are interested, there is more information about donations right where you're at now, Boardwalk Hall, or I'm sorry, Boardwalk Organs, Dot org, and uh, we hope that you'll participate with us in making all this happen. For Nathan Bryson, this is Ken Double. Thanks for visiting a few minutes with the Midmer Lodge.